and our first marker. All right. Yeah, create new system data. All righty then. Customization. I forgot customization. Um, just as an FYI, this is considered max. This is if you want to go all out. But you might be asking why do they have so many upgrade slots? Because this game really wants you to play a bunch of new game slots. <laughs> Power parts. Backup calculator. So Gekkinganger, Omni Devencer, actually former coding is going to be better. There we go. He only has five movement. Hmm. I don't have anything that's going to give him a bunch of movement. Oh, well, that's just the way it is early game. Let's get started in the next mission. If you had the pre-order DLC, this is where you would get the special mission where you get the sub uh, the second OG pilot. We are not going to be getting him until scenario 23. I see. So the Terranado is going to has been entered into a bid to become the Earth Federation's next mass produced mech. That's right, sir. We here at Special Section 3 are working to kill, uh, collect data to assist in development. Don't need to be so formal. With my train uh, transfer from military complete, we're just like family now, right? I'll be ha I'm just happy to be here, Sakurai. Family, huh? In that case, you can skip Sagiri. Call me the miss. Skip the miss. Uh, okay then, Sagiri. Uh, you can call me Tetsuya. Can I ask you something? You're a heroic pilot in my stay in war. Why did you decide to get a day job? My assignments shift pretty regularly. They have, me uh, they have me making appearances as a public-facing military figure, too. Yes, Danny. I kind of got that impression when I played Final Fantasy V and you uh, were able to, by memory, point me at every single blue mage spell in the game. Sometimes I'm at the front lines and sometimes I'm in the rear giving orders. N now that I'm well known, I can usually get what I want. I asked for a little time away from the front lines and this is the result. Has Neo Zeon been active lately? Yep, Neo Zeon's here. I can't really say much here, but they've been pretty quiet. Gee, Daddy, do you? Is that because I'm calling you the fuck out? That's probably why my request got accepted straight away. Sure, but why'd someone as experienced as you put in a request like that to begin with? I've got my reasons. You mean, like, a woman? I'm sure it'll come up eventually. Ooh, am I going to hear some juicy secrets from a veritable legend? I see you're getting along well, Sakurai. All thanks to your guidance, Chief. Oh, goodness, no. For as long as I've known you, you've never had any problems communicating. <laughs> Still got plenty of other issues to work out, though. Have you known Chief Amasaki a long time, Sagiri? Yep, he's been looking after me since I joined the company. In that case, I look forward to becoming another member of the fan club. Likewise, Tetsuya. I look forward to working with you, too. A battle-hardened veteran may find this uh, slightly disconcerting, but it's section policy to relax during moments like these. Understood. Hey, look at that. I'm already learning from you. Glad to hear it. Uh, but this is rather sudden, but I have some exciting news to share. Ooh, how exciting are we talking, Chief? The president has ordered Special Section 3 to go to Mars. Mars, the planet of upheaval. Wow, that is exciting. Amaterasu, Terminal Colony. Terminal Colony, uh, colony Amaterasu. Lobby. Uh, you're looking pretty down in the dumps, rookie. All tuckered out? There's something private I wanted to talk about. Is now okay? Sure thing. Meryl and Amy's are out, so now it's perfect. Um, about what happened with my hair back in the locker room. Hey, no worries. I get it. I mean, I'm a woman too, you know. Uh, you finally joined the adult world, but don't want to cause your dad any trouble, so you wear a wig while on the clock. I've got no problem with that, so long as you do your job anyway. I won't report it, Chief, so you can relax. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Chief said he'll take care of the mechs for us. Oh, hello, everyone. You've had a really busy start. I mean, you've already been, seen combat. Now you're off to Mars. Yeah, probably have a lot in your mind, but you can take it easy until we get to Mars. Yeah, the VTX transport will be using a boson jump, so we'll be there in no time. Hmm, that's a name that's familiar. Okay, I'll try. It's even more convenient than hyperspace gates. And interplanetary travel will get even smoother once the Hisago plan is complete. Just think of this vacation to Mars while on the company's dime. I'm not sure. As, I'm not sure going as nigh or uh, anar yeah. to a nigh or anarchic. Wow. Planet for vacation is high on anyone's bucket list, ma'am. Now how about we call it a thrilling Martian adventure tour instead? Please don't become our tour conductor. <laughs> Plop or not, you don't. Hey, well, yeah, that's why I joined VTX. A planet of upheaval. Not to worry, Rookie Dearest. We got a 20% boost to our travel allowance when traveling to Mars. That can only mean it's hazard pay. I'm not sure telling her stuff like that's going to help, ma'am. Meryl's absolutely right. I'm I'm just... Hey, if you can squawk like that, you'll be fine. Just keep your guard up a teensy bit, okay? Ow! Get back the wallet you took from her bag. Right. Now. You noticed? Just so you know, you're not getting off the hook just because you gave it back. Don't even think about running. It's going to make things worse for you. Ma'am, is that really necessary? Never let your guard down, especially in crowded places. A cutie like you will get eaten alive if you're not careful. Uh, understood. I'm not sure I like the way this is going. Yeah, well, it's out of our hands. Meryl, notify the police or security that we caught a pickpocket. Sure thing. That won't be necessary. Oh my! Who is that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anybody recognize who this character is? I have no idea. <laughs> I am smiling from ear to ear, folks. I know I spoiled this already earlier playthrough, but that was many hours ago. I know some folks are still going to be surprised. Say hello to Faye Valentine. Who are you? Just a plainclothes cop that's keep uh, that happen to be passing by. I'll take him in. Um, unfortunately, Danny, that's the song that I've been warning people about that I'm going to have to mute when it plays because that will get me DMCA to hell until I can get it changed so that they don't play it during combat. I cannot play tank even in just the audio in the non vocal version. I cannot play it on Twitch or YouTube. Wow, you call that plain? Police officers these days. Don't let her fool you. Huh! Hmm! Huh! Hmm! Who's this gentleman? Hmm! With the wild hair! Hmm! 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 Don't know, don't know who he is. Now what? The name's Spike Spiegel. THE Spike Spiegel? Even tiny bounties like you know about me, huh? Wait, are you? Shrone D. Rell. Purse snatching, pickpocketing, luggage theft, the petty theft connoisseur, huh? Petty as you are, they add up. And now you're worth a cool $10,000. Wait, you're a cowboy, aren't you? A federally approved bounty hunter. A symbol of deteriorating public order in this twilight age. Not just any one either. You Spike Spiegel. A mound voted number one bounty hunter you don't want to get captured by. I don't want to get brought in, of course, but especially not by you. Hey, I'm flattered. I think I understand why you're so feared. Hey, he tried to run. He got what he deserved. A real cowboy. This is the first time I've seen one. He took the guy out with just one hit. Wow. I like that. He's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, no guys like him in our company, that's for sure. Alrighty, now I've got my bounty. You're next. Me? Yeah, don't think I forgot what you did to us before, you swindler. I'm sorry, I preferred to put the past behind me and move on. See, I know you. After fooling everyone here, you were going to force him to fork over a king's ransom by his escape. Bingo. I was just, it was all going according to plan until you showed up. Too bad. Times are tough all over, huh? But the bounty I get from this guy, my days of eating bell peppers and beef minus the beef for dinner are finally over. If there's no beef, could you just drop it from the name? Being a cowboy is tougher than I thought. I take back what I said about him earlier. Me too. I like a man who earns a stable income. What the heck is going on? That came from outside. Right, take cover, everyone. Looks like this is my moment. Damn it, he's making a run for it. This isn't looking good for you. 
Quit acting like this doesn't involve you. Why? It doesn't. I swear. Oh, right. I never properly introduced myself last time we met. The name's Faye Valentine. Not that we'll ever meet again, more than likely. I wouldn't meet up with you even if you asked. If you say so. By the way, your bounty's running off. Might want to catch it. Damn it, I'm not letting my meal ticket get away. Scenario 2. Bounty Hunter Blue. Terminal Colony of Matarasu's Boson Jump Relay Point. Taking the place out will delay the Earth Federation's Hisago plan. Hey, wait up, you lousy bum! Yeah, right, I ain't getting captured, especially by you! I mean, you're not getting away from me. I'm sick of eating bell peppers and beef minus the beef! Hey, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Hardly our fault you decided to remain. Get out of here if you want to live. Hey, that really doesn't sit well with me. You dare to interfere in our plans? Fuck, 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 fuck! There. Sorry, guys. Had to cut all audio for the game on your side until I can get this to stop playing. Hey, you're the one who interfered first, remember? All that waits those who oppose our cause is death. That's one hell of a sales pitch. Ah, uh, who cares? If they're terrorists, there's sure to be a good bounty on them. I won't, I'll let the other guys go and nab you guys instead. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do something now. Here, tank. Hold on, I need to check. Uh, Battle BGM. Turno o o fume. Okay. I'm just trying to find something that's not going to kill me on the VOD. That I'll have to do for now. Okay, so that's the music it changed it to. Okay. So now anytime Tank tries to play on like the on like the story scenes, it's going to play this instead. I'm going to adjust it to play different songs and whatnot. But yeah, sorry about that. I really couldn't let that play because DMCA would kill me. Uh, we don't have an SR point. Uh, but there's a special attack point bonus if Spike kills three enemies. Whether it's her or, lucky, or the terrorist, it's a, I'm a real lucky guy today. Time to turn things around. I'm collecting the bounties on every last one of these punks. I was lucky, right? Good. I set it to the same theme as the Terranado. That's what I was aiming for. Yeah, no, what Buffer Nuff's doing is fine. Do that. <laughs> I can't play it. I will get in trouble. <laughs> they made boson jumps on their own? Are they all remnants of the Jovian Federation? I'm glad to see so many new bounties, but I don't think I can catch them all. Allow me to lend a hand, Mr. Cowboy. Hey, I remember you. You're not military. You don't look like a bounty hunter either. This is actually part of my job. Uh, with that in mind, how about we split the bounties 50-50? If that's how it's going to be, I'll pass. Oh, don't be like that. Sakurai, VTX prohibits his employees from running a side business. Kitty! 
kidding, Chief. Kidding. <laughs> sure sounded like he, she was serious. Hands off. These bounties are mine. You can have the bounties, but we're uh, taking these guys out whether you like it or not. Stay sharp, ma'am. Worship incoming. Wait, that's a Nadesco class. Nadesco class. The Nadesco, the ship that put an end to the Lizard War. That must be its successor. That Nurgle's latest ship. Our dogged rivals in business. I'm not sure now's the time for corporate grudges, ma'am. This is Lieutenant Commander Ruri Hoshino of Captain of the Nadesco B. Your assistance apprehending terrorist threat is much appreciated. So this is the famous Ruri Hoshino I've heard so much about. The Electron Fairy, darling of the Earth Federation forests. It's just cuter than the rumors suggested. Meryl? Well, how about that? Our esteemed captain is well known even among civilians. These mobile weapons have been identified as belonging to VTX unit. But why is Great Massacre with them? I'm sure there's a reason. We can figure that out later. Cobbling these Jovian remnants comes first. Now, wait a minute. Those are all mine. I call dibs. I'm aware of the situation, cowboy. You want the bounties and VTX wants credit for eliminating terrorists. Personally, I want the bounties too. Ma'am, considering your connections to Nurgle, I suppose it only makes sense you know about Terranado. Saburoto? Hmm, I can see that. Uh, Mr. Cowboy will get his bounties and VTX will have their fight. We'll assist them in, a, in this fight for goodwill. How's that sound? Great. Does anyone have any objections? No, nope, I'm fine with that. Sounds good to me. Does it really, ma'am? I want the cash, sure, but work comes first. In any case, the terrorists are after Amaterasu. We have to stop them. Right. Whoa, sounds like Rookie Dearest is raring for a fight. Okay, everyone, good luck. Roger, Ryoko and I can go, go out together. Yeah, time to turn the lights off on this terrorist party. He doesn't seem to be here. Ruri defeats an enemy unit with a support attack. Does not count if the attack before the support attack defeats an enemy. Yeah, it's a real weird super, uh, SR point, especially this early in the game. But what are you going to do? Besides, make it happen. Come at me, you worthless Jovian jerks. It's payback time for what happened at Lion Sickle. This, they may have lost their lives to you, but I'll happily deliver some righteous fury in their stead. So please, Ak Akito, don't do anything crazy. So yeah, uh, the desk goes back. Get to the key! Hate to say it, the Federation's really scraped the bottom barrel lately, performance wise. That doesn't mean you could just get whatever, cause whatever hay mayhem you want, Terrace. So say your prayers, Jovian Army dropouts. Saburoto Takasugi is about to uh, give you a serious ass whooping. Not enough to finish him off, huh? That's fine. I'm sending everyone else to the way, uh, this way anyway. The Jovian units are equipped with distortion fields, ma'am. I'll calculate loss the field will cause. Just be careful. Thanks, Rookie Dearest. I see you're getting the hang of things. Fighting isn't something I want to get used to. Still, though, you can finish that thought later. Let's focus on what's in front of us for now. Understood. Yeah, but here's the thing, Fluffernuff. He bucks the trend. He is the best fucking plane friend you've ever seen. He is going to be a main unit of our team. He is fantastic. His between his ace bonuses, his pilot uh, skills, and the upgrades he gets to his uh, to his ship, he's amazing. We will be using him. Are these Jovian uh, remnants are doing this because they didn't want to be part of the Earth Federation? They're just disciplined and the way they're organized tells me something bigger is going on here. Uh, 
<laughs> There's a special mechanic we haven't run into yet, Danny. That's going to explain that. Damn it. You guys are going the wrong way. All right, fine. Go ahead and finish it off. That's what you think of when you think of Spike Spiegel, the tank friend. Him chugging along in the Graton, running people over. See, even the Jovians are immediately recognize Spike Spiegel as an ace. Don't want to kill him yet, because I need him for the SR point. But notice, we have no upgrades, no skills, we're in normal difficulty, and nobody can hit Spike. I have no equipment on him, no upgrades, no nothing. They already have a 0% chance to hit him. Flat out. You cannot hit Spike's Eagle. <laughs> he is one of the most amazing evasion uh, mechs in the game. And that's three. Make sure you eject. Get collect a bounty if you're dead. At a glance, his movements look reckless, but he's actually really skilled. Yeah, he's good, especially for a bounty hunter. He really doesn't want to go back to eating beef with bell peppers and beef, huh? At least Spike re uh, recognizes that, though. Like, that's the funny thing when you're fighting with Spike, is that later on in the game, every time he attacks an enemy, you'll see an arrow pointing at him saying, shoot down, for almost every enemy he fights. <laughs> Oh, you don't have enough gravity blast yet. The missile should be enough. That should weaken them. Okay. And then here's the support attack. Mm, but with dealing half damage from the support attack and it has a shield. Maybe not. Nope. Damn it. You have more support attacks. Oops, that. You have support attack level two. Okay, good. God damn it. Damn it. I need you to fight something else.
told you this early game SR point is kind of a pain in the ass. Just because you have to math it out, basically, to make it work. Fine, go ahead. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to be doing safety save next turn. Omoikane doesn't think of me... It, in, it, yeah, it doesn't think is a mere sporadic t uh, act of terrorism either. Doesn't think this is. They missed a word. There's going to be more, and he's going to be there. Captain? It's fine, Harry. I have my concerns, but let's take care of things here one step at a time. Understood, Captain. As Deputy Officer, please uh, note that I'll always be there to support you. Thank you. Let's get moving. Oh, hey. Got lucky. All right. Uh, safe to save. So I do this. Nope, you'll shoot him down because you're too strong. You'll shoot him down because you're too strong. Is there any way I can get you to... I don't have anything to give you accuracy. That'll have to do. Nope, that's not going to be enough. Gravity Blast isn't going to deal damage. All right, well, that's why you safe to save. I need to weaken it first. Oh, come on! It used Missile this time. I need to make it use something else. Like your Gravity Blast, like you were supposed to. I missed it. Fucking random... Mm. Second SR point of the game, folks. Nah. Go smaller. Smallest attack you can do. Motherfucker! Guess that's not enough. damage. Probably missed. Ugh. Pain in my ass. Let's make you shoot him this time. Still similar damage.
I'm gonna. S oh wait, that's because I'm using distortion attack like an idiot. I didn't want to use. Distortion. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker! Auto cannon. It's not hitting, or it's not dealing enough damage, period. Okay. Except you're gonna kill it. I only have one unit left to do this with. It's at full health, so it shouldn't be this hard. Analyze, maybe? That might be fair. Let's try that. That was it. Good, ch good call, Flubber enough. As expected from the Cisco, led by none other Electron Fairy. Don't forget we just saw. Working together as a team like that leads to success. Working together, huh? That doesn't just go for work, it goes for everything. Terrorists have been eliminated. Well done, everyone. Hey, just so you know, I prefer money over words or a certificate. You'll be awarded your money as per the law. I'll send you to my account number. If you could throw in a little extra on top, I'd appreciate it, Miss Fairy. Looks like he doesn't want to be with uh be with us. Uh, he came to Amaterasu because he wanted to pose on jump somewhere, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure a freelance outlaw like him uh, and a diligent employee like myself won't cross paths again. Nope, never again. He received his account number. Name on the account is Spike Spiegel. I was checking with Omoi Kane. We have confirmed that he is a registered cowboy. Uh, he had some pretty serious skills. Wonder if he's famous. From the sound of things, he's the last bounty hunter any criminal would want to get caught by. Well, I guess that'd explain it. I'd like to thank Mr. Sarugi and everyone at VTX Union for their assistance. Likewise, thanks for your help, Lieutenant Commander Hoshino. You matured into quite captain. Thank you. There's so much to learn, however. Did you know each other, Tetsuya? Yeah, we fought alongside each other during the Lizard War. I'm afraid we have to get going. We still have to finish our patrol. I realize this may sound strange, considering you're Nurgle's employ. But we hope you'll, you'll support VTX's new machine, the Turinata. My Mr. Prospector is very excited about this new mech yours. Oh, Nurgle's own. Impeccable taste as always. By the way, did a black mech show up here today? A black one? I don't think so. If th it's nothing. If nothing's come to mind, forget I asked. Okay, everyone, time for us to go. Considering the attack on VTX's training facility, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for Jovian remnants. But the Federation forces handle them. We'll get, we've got work to focus on. Right, first things first, head to Mars. Carry X meeting room. All right, everyone, Madarasu is safe now, so we'll be heading to Mars in two hours time. <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, I think they it meant to imply a black mech besides your own. Chief Hamasaki, can you tell us anything about our mission? I mean, our job on Mars. When we arrive on Mars, we are to rendezvous with and provide support for a certain individual. Sounds like this is related to Terranado's development too. So there's definitely going to be some combat. That'll depend on who it is we're supporting. Can you tell us anything else about this? who this person is exactly? Sadly, no. Sounds like they're quite the VIP, however. Uh, tracing the origin of the request, it seems to be coming from the Japanese government. That's certainly ominous. It's just about time for our departure. Hey, can we chat for a sec first? Sure, what is it? I'm not only going to ask this once. Do you think you'll be happy here in Section 3? Uh, well, I know from sharing a cockpit with you, you don't like to fight. But I don't have a choice. Fighting Tornado is my job. So I want to know what you're thinking. It's not too late to turn back. It's true, I don't like fighting. But I'd like to keep working as a member of Special Section 3. I want to learn more about working together, about the teamwork you talked about. 
please, ma'am. I know I might be a pain at times, but I... I... It's okay, Rami. I re I'm really happy to hear that. Huh? Sorry, did I say something freaky? You just used my name. Well, you're not a rookie anymore. You're a precious teammate. I can't keep calling... I can keep calling you Rookie Dearest if you want, Rookie. That's okay, ma'am. I'm just really happy, that's all. To make an angel fall, the fallen angel is showing her true colors. I'm not sure if she does it on purpose, but plenty of female employees have lost their way because of her. So, I wanted to make this kind of clear, because they're doing it too. There are so many bisexuals in this game! <laughs> and I am so happy! <laughs> Basically, they're gonna make it more obvious as the game goes on, but all of these ladies are bisexual. <laughs> and it is so great! <laughs> Because they, they like, get hit on by a lot of people. They also hit on a lot of people, and it's cute. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's why, I, that's why I don't have a, a webcam or anything, because I don't actually exist. Ooh. I'm not sure if she does it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if she's happy about it, I guess it's fine. Rami, let's make this a good one. Let's. Ma'am, father, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to reason for me to fight. I'm going to find the reason for me to fight. You swing both ways, you double your chance for a day. <laughs> exactly! Which, you know, double zero is still zero. Oh, I hurt myself. Now able to use special order, commencement of works. Uh, power part unlock, clear chapter two. Tetsuya's our current most skills. So, Hello everybody, Section Chief Amasaki here from VTX U News Special Section 3. Here is in the side plans, we at Special Section 3 conduct all sorts of business. Let's go over one of those things now. Suborders are a way to help manage your forces by assigning people to training and patrols when they're not in active duty. And when you achieve the business milestones that I set out for Special Sec uh, Section Chief at Special Section 3's inception... <laughs> it's okay, Fluffer now. I hurt myself. You were doing a good thing. You receive bonuses in the form of special pilot training programs developed courtesy of the VTX Union. When you execute those training programs, they're called a special order. These milestones are based on the words of our company president, Dima Goldwyn. Uh, Goldwyn. They're essentially our corporate philosophies. The long and short of it is that when you put it, his words into practice, it puts him in a good mood. We get reward for it. But instead of worrying about how soul-crushing that sounds, let's celebrate our first milestone. Oops. I missed it. BTX Corporate Philosophy 13. Go in with a bang. This one's based on the idea that starting momentum is key in all things. We're off to a solid start with the job that brings us to Mars. As a bonus, we place a program in a special order listing that will grant an extra five score for the participant. I suggest trading in a pilot to ensure that it gets lots of score. If you don't assign a special order to someone, it remains available in the next intermission. But you can only have one special order at a time. If you achieve another milestone, next program won't be made available until you use the current special order as carried out. And by the way, you can only carry out one special order in each intermission. So if you hit multiple milestones, you'll have to wait until subsequent intermissions to assign special orders other than the one you got. That's the general idea anyway. All of our section staff will continue uh, striving to hit our milestones. We look forward to your assistance. All right, so like you just explained, this is a special order. This one specifically gives you five score to the pilot you put in it. It's, um, you can hold off and use it later, but you can't use, if you get a new special order at some point, you won't be able to use it until you've burned this one. Um, so, I can give one of my folks five score. But, these are people who are probably going to get a lot of score anyway, We might not want to use it right away, especially since I'm going to be putting them in this. So, I'm not going to use it yet. Oops, wrong button. Tech management. That's not me, that's them. What are you up to, Rami? Uh, I was just organizing data from today's fight before we head to Mars. You're so hardworking, Rami. I want to be of use to the team as quickly as possible. That cowboy's fighter craft was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, seems like it might be one of the Golden Age legacies. What do you mean? Humanity was full of hopes and dreams back then. They pushed technology as far as they could, hoping to reach the stars. Machines and tech from back then are incredibly advanced, despite being decades old. And, that, uh, and that's what people call legacies. Do you think his vehicle is one? It may be for personal use. That thing could probably outstrip military hardware in the right circumstances. 
Wait, so is humanity's technological progress in decline here on Earth? Sadly, yes. But we still managed to come up with something like Terranado that no one's ever seen before. As an engineer, I want to be able to hold my head up high. I don't want to live in the shadows of the Golden Age. Whoa, I didn't realize you were so passionate about this stuff, Meryl. Hey, you don't have to tease me about it. Give me the data. We're going to analyze the thing out of the park. Right. Something tells me we're going to get a lot of great combat data from that cowboy. Let's see. Looks like it's worth 100 attack points. Uh, great. We'll be able to use that for our full de future development work. Okay. Nothing here. Soldier's Medallion if we want it, but we don't. And everything else is hunky-dory. So let's save.